Good evening. Carrie here. Hey guys. I hope you guys enjoy this video. This has taken probably almost a year of thought to compile all this information and put it together because a lot of times people say, I'm not the dentist, I'm not the doctor, I'm not this, I'm not that. Well, what I decided to do, I'm kind of almost a report style on orthodontics and talk about the empire of evil. So, um, as a smart business person as I am, I've taken the information and compiled it in different resource areas. First thing we're going to talk about is, as a smart business person, clients walk in, a potential four to $10,000 walks in every day. Are you going to turn it away or are you going to find a way to keep it? So, almost every kid that walks in the door at the orthodontist office, they're going to find a way to find a problem so that they can become the next client. Now, first thing I want to talk about is the wholesale cost of the equipment that orthodontists use. I'm going to attach the link to orthodontic wholesale website where you guys will see the arch wires are less than a dollar a piece. Full set of braces ranges from twenty to a hundred and twenty dollars and ties are like less than a penny for ten to hold the rubber band in. Springs? Under a dollar. Okay, so everything is pure profit. I mean, they might have a little bit of office overhead and a receptionist to pay, but this is like pure profit. I mean, you're in there for about 10 minutes, they change your ties, they send you home. In many cases, they want to do extractions or other things to make you look worse so that they can be the hero and make you look better. And it's just, it's just not right. And they sell on guilt to parents because it's real easy to say you're not doing the right thing for your kids. It's a real easy guilt to play on. But I'm here to explain today what really goes on. Okay. You guys can follow my link. I put the wholesale link on this video. I'm going to have lots of links and different references to, to everything I discuss in this one. The next thing I wanted to talk about was what you're not expecting when you get orthodontic work. Uh, a lot of cranial problems, water drainage problems in the head, the constant backwards pressure of brackets. It's not, it's not good on your skeletal system. It's not good on your head. You have poor circulation problems, chronic neck pain later in life. I put references up on cranial problems. You guys can take all the time you want to look through that. I've also taken the time to compile information on orthodontic relapse. So your four to $10,000 investment may be totally down the drain in 10 years. And in 20 years, the extraction orthodontic cases have a 10% stability success rate. One of the lines I got in this article about orthodontic relapse, I'll put it up for you guys, is that you go to have your wisdom teeth pulled and the dentist sits you down, you'll see it right in this in his, in his post too. There's a 30% chance this procedure will work. Wouldn't you run like hell? I mean, orthodontic relapse is something a lot of people don't talk about. But if you look at this from a business point of view, the average retention at 20 years on orthodontic work is 10 to 30% at best. Can you look at a CD you could throw four to $10,000 in and see what it's going to be worth in 10 or 20 years? I mean, would you rather get your kid this orthodontic work that has the 10 to 30% success rate? Or would you rather put that money in a CD for their college education or for a down payment on their first home? I'm just saying. We put the wholesale cost up. Oh, and unexpected blips that you're not expecting um, are always possible in the orthodontic industry. I wanted to share this last video on extraction orthodontics. It's actually a Damon video. And no, I'm not really for Damon. I don't, I don't. I don't support any company in any of this here. But anyway, it talks about in this video how Damon braces eliminate extraction, but they're still in need for extraction sometimes. Then they talk about this lip incompetence on this young Asian girl and how this has helped her and, and all this and that. I'll put the video up for you, but I want you to I want you to stop at the point where they show her chin before and after and her lower jaw. You'll see it is almost halfway deteriorated. What is this girl going to look like in 10 years, 20 years? When you read the orthodontic relapse article, you'll see that she's only got a 10 to 30 percent chance of even keeping the straight teeth. She's going to be stuck with that chin and lower jaw forever. 
Okay, just wanted to help share orthodontic consequences, not even so much on the extraction side today. Um, read the cranial article. It shows on how all these people have problems later in life from all the skull pressure and how it's been talked about at conventions. Have a great night, guys. I hope you enjoyed my research, and I hope I can help you guys make a better decision on orthodontic work. Not to say it's never necessary, but I would say more than half the cases that are being sold to today, it's totally cosmetic. Put it in the class of plastic surgery, poor plastic surgery. Could you imagine getting plastic boobs with only a 10 to 30% chance to look right in 10 to 20 years? Just think about that for a second. Anyways, have a great night. Thanks for watching. Aloha.